So it's day one now and we are on the game. Well, no, we're not now, but this is the future, right? So we're putting it out there. We want to start being able to make coins on no money spent. We don't have a lot of coins, but there's pretty much a surefire way that can help us make some coins early on. Takes a little bit of luck, but I think we can do it. If you're looking to build the best team in Madden, make sure you head over to MMOEXP.com. Link is in the description below right now. Make sure you use code CC for 5% off the cheapest coins, the fastest delivery, everything you can need to be on your road to greatness. Again, use code CC, 5% off. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Smoking in the mirror at your practice in my wrist flick. I can't settle for a quarter real fast. Need a bare maximum. Word to Khalil Mack. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We're talking no money spent today. This could be money spent as well, but we'll cover that because there's a couple other things that we could do uh, as a money spender that we can't do as a no money spender at the start of the game to help make coins. So this is no money spent. Hit the like for me if you are down for it and make sure you are subscribed because we're going to talk about some easy ways to help make potential coins. You know, every time we talk about coin making, um, this is this is just a way that that has worked for years and years uh and it should be no different this year at all because a lot of the stuff really does stay the same now you could lose coins doing something like this too so you always got to be prepared to whatever you are spending here coin wise to be prepared to lose some of it at least okay and as well it does require a little bit of luck so let's take a look at some stuff and some information first before we get into it here um, so we would say, hmm, let's look at this. This is a chart last year. This is a power up for Aaron Donald. Hey, pretty good card, right? Was it going to be a 76 overall? Okay. All right, all right. All right. Okay. We can deal with the 76 overall, you know? Um, there's also going to be other cards here, which we could look for and do well with maybe a Jalen Ramsey power up again. Look at these prices, 30, 40 K. What about a, a Tyreek Hill power up? Okay. Uh, he's too hard to find in here. Um, who else? Who else is a nice high overall this year? Derek Henry. Oh yeah. Let's look up Derek Henry. And this is, remember this is last year's data. Okay. So, uh, it's going to obviously change a little bit. We can even see Derek Henry's power up early on had a pretty high price, but even here we're talking about 10, 15, 20 K. Okay. That is pretty good. There's other cards here, other cards that we can talk about as well. And I want to go through these with you here. So I'm going to go to the program of core rookie here. And early on in the year last year, obviously Isaiah Simmons was the rookie master. Cool, cool, cool. We know that, but Devontae Smith's going to be pretty good too. It might not be as good or as expensive and stuff like that, but there's going to be cards here that we want to look at their prices and see where they were. So we see here that this was the kicker, right? His prices were six, seven K. Not bad. You got to so get to someone again. These are the higher overall cards here, which is, which again is fine. Uh, the punter, Braden man, AKA Spider-Man. Look at his, his prices were pretty, pretty high. Okay. They were pretty high. Now the one thing we know here as well, that is, going to be maybe a little bit different this year from the sets last year is for the rookie master of Devonte Smith this year. And, uh, the set here that they have doesn't mention anything about specific cards. Okay. It says 30, 70, 72s, 25, 73 to 75s and 20, 76 to 78. Okay. But we know that that's going to be a set. Let's go look here at the sets here. Okay. Now, again, this is going to be probably pretty similar in here, uh, where I guess it's just an exchange core rookie exchange here, right? So again, this was more of a specific set where you had to have one of these guys, right? You had to have one of them. So their prices were a little bit higher, but if we think about it, you still need a lot of cards. How are we going to get these cards? Well, we can also exchange low silvers to high silvers for rookies and high silvers to golds, which is going to give us a chance to pull some of these cards. Okay. Cool. 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 How are we going to get these cards? Well, we're also going to be trying to get power ups as well. 
So the best way that we're going to do that again, assuming and hopefully is that this year we will also have this 500 coin get a player pack. The beauty of this pack at the beginning is that if you happen to pull gold cards of any level, they're going to have some value. You can use these gold cards to exchange up, right? So you're always going to want to exchange cards up as much as you can. The reason is, is you can actually get hits on those. You can then exchange high golds to elites. Or you can just sell the high golds for profit if you really want. Um, maybe you could hit something in here. Again, this is a 500 coin pack. The odds right now are much higher than the beginning of the year. But the idea here is to try to hit some of those power ups, try to hit some of those rookie cards that will go into those sets because those are going to have guaranteed value. When you get low cards like this, you're just going to want to exchange them up to the 70 to 74 set. If you get low rookies, uh, you check their price. Maybe you'll be able to exchange them or you can just sell them. Or again, that's going to be totally up to you. But as you hit some of these, you're just looking for power ups here, right? Okay. So we get a 70, 72 gold right here. Uh, all right. Well, let me put it in the 75 to 79 set because maybe I can hit that Aaron Donald power up, that Tyree Kill power up, or even a, a high rookie card, right? Now, again, doing this with 500 coins is totally worth it. It's totally worth it because you are going to get 500 coins is, is going to be the value. You're going to be able to even sell these silvers for pretty much the same thing here. It just takes a lot of time. Now, again, it's all about this. So what I would normally do if I had, say, 20,000 coins here that I was playing with, right? I would just open all these packs up, see what I get with my coins and then go through the exchanges there and see if we get any hits from the pack. We get any hits from exchanges. And all that again we're really like the power up symbol at the beginning of the year because power ups are always expensive they will always always be expensive uh so we don't get a power up there but if we go back and let's look at a power up for like a low overall card uh like camara right he had a low power up is 68 overall his price at the beginning of the game we see here eighteen thousand coins that's not bad that's not bad at all, right? Who's another guy? Who's another guy we really like? Dante Jackson. Let's take a look at Dante Jackson, actually. Here, he was a really good budget card. Dante Jackson. Power up. Again, he was really fast at the beginning of the year. His power up, 20K, 30K. Again, 16 overall. We're not talking like a lot here. So you are going to be able to do this to make some coins again you get a couple hits sell those cards because they're going to be at a premium price at that point bam now a lot of people will probably be doing this right if you happen to hit a lead out of this pack in the beginning of the year congratulations it's kind of like winning the lottery because the odds are definitely way 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 lower but again so here great example we got tristan Wirfs, right he could go into our new set right that we're trying to get for Devonte smith or we could exchange him up even then but in that case, I wouldn't be exchanging a card like that. You could probably just outright sell it for um, cards like that. will sell for, for a decent amount. Let's take a look back at Tristan Wirf's rookie card last year. Again, really good example. He was not a card that you needed for the set, right? And again, look early on at his price, 3K, 2K, 4K real early on. But he even stayed around 2,000 coins almost through October. That's a W, right? That's a big W for us. So we're going to be doing this to try to make coins um, again. And that's why we want to make sure that we can get some coins to start so we can do more of this. The more you do, obviously, the more chances you have, the more chances you have, you could potentially hit uh, an expensive power up or something along those lines, right? Definitely a great way to make coins. Again, you hit an elite early on, you're in the money. But what we really want to focus in is upgrading these low cards because you're going to hit tons and tons of silver cards out of here and you just want to upgrade them. Okay, go through those exchanges. Got to assume that those are going to be there. Um, we just we, we know that that's the case, right? This is clockwork type of situation from EA uh, and it's going to happen and you're going to be able to profit. So make sure when you get out there, this takes a while. So if you're on your trial time, I get it. You may not want to use your time uh, doing all stuff like this, but you can build up a lot of coins. So that's why getting some of those early levels done for your ultimate season 
Uh, it's going to be important because you're going to be able to earn some quick coins there. Again, get to 25 to 50K if possible and do this. Rip 50 to 100 packs. You should, you should, you should make out pretty well. I'm going to be doing this pretty heavily to start uh, for sure. Now, will we make a video on it showing profits and stuff? Probably. I'm sure we'll cover it again, right? Am I going to show you guys every pack that I open doing it? No, I probably won't. A lot of times it's going to be me sitting here with my feet up on the... Uh, on ye old desk like you guys would be doing too so just keep that in mind but great way to think about it again it's not just the power-ups the core rookies as well that you want to be looking for when you pull a core rookie check the price out if it's sellable you can sell it for 1500 2000 coins and it's open it for 5000 500 coin pack that's a really good profit it's a really good profit and again if you get some of these silvers from really fast players on certain teams because people try to build theme teams really early on and they have to use silvers and low golds keep an eye on those prices too don't just blindly put stuff into exchanges be smart about it please 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 you will do very well then hopefully with this we'll catch you guys soon and i'm out peace